everybody. We had a little bit of a snowstorm here overnight. They were actually calling for, oh, different channels were calling for different possibilities. Um, but possibility, and some of them were saying up to 10 to 12 inches. We did not get that much snow, but we did get some. It was just snowing again a little bit ago. Um, it's been snowing off and on here this morning. And we're doing cleanup duty here. Um, he's got the snow blower out. He was uh, bucketing some snow back and now using the snow blower. Our driveway is pretty long here. So we have a pretty large snow blower and it's worked very well for us to get the snow off. But um, sure is pretty. It looks beautiful all over the trees. We broke a shear pin. I stick a new one in it. There was a tree blew across the driveway. My father and all plowed it back, and one of the pieces got buried. I didn't see it, so broke the shear pin. We'll put a new one in it. Back at her. A little chilly on the fingers. Huh? A little chilly on the fingers. Yeah. Gotta get a wrench. Okay. For those that don't know what a shear pin is, it's just a bolt. This part and this part, this part is connected to the tractor. It's being driven. And this part ties everything into the snow blower or baler or whatever piece of equipment it is but what that's designed to do is if you hit something like I just did I hit a, a limb about that long pretty stout had that not broken it would have probably broken this chain or one of the shafts or something more expensive than a bolt so you use the bolt as a sacrificial piece it breaks away. This all stops while that's still spinning because you can't react in time to stop it on your own. So that's what a shear pit does. It makes your fingers really cold. 